If a man has not discovered something he will die for, he's not fit to live. That's a quote from Martin Luther King. I thought you'd like it. Oh, thank you. Hey everyone, we're finally here with Detroit Become Human. I've been waiting so long for this game since they did like a tech demo where one of the main characters is named Kara and they like, you see her being made and taken apart. It's, it was a really cool tech demo, and they ended up making that sort of game with the same character about androids, and we're here now, so let's do this. Yeah, guys, like the episode if you want more, and I will deliver it. All right, so we start off with the demo of the game, so I already covered this on my YouTube channel. But we'll get, a, we'll get a different ending this time. Connor is such a snack. Ooh! Negotiator on site. Negotiator on snack on site. Wait, look our way, Connor. Look at me. Please, wait. Oh my God, make him look at us. <laughs> All the androids are pretty good looking. All right, here we go. Here's the happy family. Wow, wholesome. And then the fish, I'm gonna save you, don't worry. I got you. Save. Boot up. All right, it's saved. Don't worry. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait, you're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? I'm not a thing. I'm a person with feelings, even though I'm not. I don't give a shit. Five men are ready to step in. Just give the order. Fuck. All right, wait. Thought I was going in that room. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> it's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. And if it falls, she falls. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Thanks for the intel. All right, no matter what you do, that guy's always an asshat, so. I'm excited to get to the new parts of this game. I've, I've. Man, I feel like I've done this demo a million times. Probably because I have. And then you reconstruct scenes to see what happened. It's pretty cool and you can, you know, you can move this all around. Alright, so we know the deviant, which is an android that's kind of gone uh, a little bit whack. Sort of taking uh, some of its own free will back in this particular uh, case, taking a little girl hostage and shooting her dad. So it happens, but we're here to solve the crime. Oh, 
touch screen. You actually get to use your touchpad on the PlayStation. It's not just a menu button, like on a lot of games. You actually get to use the touch feature. Negotiators going in, rip. Rip. So yeah, if you'll remember when I first played this demo, I end up finding a like a police officer's gun, taking that and using it to kill the android and saving the kid. But I guess I'll try something a little different this time. I'm gonna take the gun but not shoot. And we'll see what happens. So that's like the one ending I still haven't done. I've gotten every other ending on this. They were gonna replace him. It's so sad. This game is so beautiful, though, and you'll see as we go through the levels. I've actually played about two hours. I'm just replaying, but um, yeah, some of the, a lot of the levels are gorgeous. And then some crime scenes have a lot of reconstruction, some just have a few. Boom. Gunfight. Let me get this gun. And I will be on my way. None of the humans saw me do this on her. Well, that guy did. No one thought it was a bad idea. What are we waiting for? We should take down this asshole. Shut up. I'm going now. You won't do anything. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! <laughs> they start this game off with such an intense scene. Notice there's a cop on the side right there who shot. You can help you can help him, but I don't think I can do it to like hit the ending I haven't gotten. I know you're angry, Daniel. But you need to trust me and let me help. I don't want your help! Nobody can help me. All I want is for all this to stop. I Rip. Just want all this to stop! Are you armed? Uh, no. No. I don't have a gun. You're lying. I know you have a gun. I'm telling you the truth, Daniel. I came here unarmed. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. 
Maybe I can do both. She's just like all the other humans. Then you'll know. He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. Well, all humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? And you I'm can get turned off. Don't touch him. Touch him and I kill you. Ignore? Oh god, uh... You can't kill me! I'm not alive! Oh... Okay, that actually doesn't take away that many percentage points. I'm good. I'm glad I helped. They were going to replace you, and you became upset! That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just there, toy. Something to throw away when you're done with it. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. You know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> Just a slave to be ordered around. How many of you would sit on your android's face? Be honest. <laughs> I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. The situation is under control. <laughs> That's yeah. I like how the helicopter like completely escalates everything. to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go and I promise you everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Oh, dang, we got shot! Ooh, he's just going down. <laughs> Jig. Kate could never. Kate is shook from Life is Strange. Hey, I just look, little, little brat. I just saved your life, okay? I know you just went through a traumatic experience, but uh, you don't need to scream in my dead face. Don't worry, he's okay. He can be rebuilt. He can be reset. So we saved the little girl. That's wonderful. And this is Detroit Become Human. Now we're going to see some, you're going to see some new episode or uh, little chapters. This was the demo. So you've all probably seen it like 50 times. I've seen it like a billion times. Let's get to something new. Come on. I'm thirsty. Love me a good interactive movie like game. Oh no, we're at the adult <laughs> sex doll shop. Oh god. Oh wait, maybe this not. Is the a little young. It cooks 10, different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. And, and handles the kids homework. Elementary. Well, which one would I get? Oh, hi there. How are you doing? Entire mm. range. At seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars, with a forty-eight months interest-free credit, and it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. Around oh yeah, I'd be I'd be financing one of these. Repairs at night. It's our paying cash. Hmm. If you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. Like I think that's it's honestly worth. more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along, and I'll show you. There it is. It's a bit difficult getting it back and working. Ooh. It. it was really the slob. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Uh huh. Stupid accident. Uh -huh. That's See? what they all say. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that Men. we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. 
Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. Stained ass shirt. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. They're gonna call her Kara. They're gonna call her Kara. That's what this is always an issue. Like, it was an issue in Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. Indica Prophecy, I don't remember it being a problem. But in all of the other games, I like the voice actors call me, like, they just pronounce the names differently. Oh, we got Jesse Williams is another playable android. <laughs> He's not Jesse Williams in the game, but. You know, he's still looking like a snack. Kara's looking like a snack. Connor's looking like a snack. All the androids we meet are looking like a snack. Would you guys fist your androids so much? I don't... Th <laughs> Dude. It's actually, like, if you really consider, like, sex robots and just normal androids and AI in general, it's really scary. Like right now everything's super basic. And well, given how a lot of AI runs so far, where they're not completely perfect, uh, the future should be interesting. Like since, well, since we're on YouTube, all of YouTube's little AI systems <laughs> usually don't. You know, if we've learned anything, especially from like YouTube's monetization bot, AI still has a long way to go. It's still pretty uh, lacking. We don't want androids just yet. And David Cage, a little bit controversial, but you guys can look into that if you want. And just so you know, there is a little bit of, um, in this particular storyline, I want you to know this in case well, not this one. This is Jesse Williams now. But once we get back to Kara, Kara, um, there is domestic violence. So just so you're aware, in case that's something you want to skip, it would be, I think, the next chapter. Yes, yes I think that's enough. Okay. Here, L let me help you. Oh, oh, thank you, dear. But, like, look at this. Isn't it so nice? You have, like, leaves falling. Um, excuse you. Hi. I'm Marcus. I'm an android. Can I play with the kids? So when you first start, your androids don't have a whole lot of choice. You'll see. Like we're not allowed to go where we're not going. <laughs> Hurry up, you plastic idiots. Oh, look at us. We're beautiful. Take a picture, old man. Wait, where'd his android go? Wait, didn't he need help? Hey, I see you now walking with no issue. What's your problem, old man? Fake. Fake snake. We have a protest going on over here. Ooh, hot dogs, though. When do we want it? Oh, wait. I, you know the worst part about being an android would be you don't eat. I guess you would always be like in shape though. Alright, I'll, I'll use the GPS. I was kind of exploring, but it's taking up so much of the screen. Woo! Drone flying about. Human musicians are so basic. We're over it. We've we've seen human musicians. What's this? 
these artificial demons. Why do <gasps> you look at me so demon? Wow, you're rude. You I'm gonna I slap you. you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. Uh, actually, you no. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. All right, maybe, but. But. My brethren, we have to turn our backs on sin. We have Stuff to happens. I'm not the problem. Ooh, health monitoring uh, pants. That would freak me out, though. Maybe. Maybe it wouldn't freak you out. Maybe you see you're healthy and that's good. But, like, if it even changes a little. There's the uh, paint shop we're going to, but I'm going to go down here a little bit more. Just take a look at everything. There's the drone again. Dang homeless humans. Androids took their jobs. If you haven't gathered yet. Which is a big concern for the future. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. <gasps> that will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Wow. Amazing. You don't have to go outside and talk to people anymore. You just have your Android do it. And it just goes and talks to other Androids. Because no one wants to talk to each other. So it's perfect. That's a big drone right there. What's it holding? Is that like a sign? I wonder if there'll ever be like drones flying about with advertisements. Bus stop not this way. Digi groceries? Why would you go out to get your digi groceries? Oh, it's a deliver it had like a box to deliver. Hey friend! What'd you get? Show me. All the androids for sale. Oh. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? You're jealous. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Um, just because I'm programmed not to beat your ass doesn't mean I fucking won't, bitch. Whatever, you know what? Enjoy your crippling oh, poverty. I don't feel bad. Yeah, it. Do it. All right. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. The damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. We can take your job next. You see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. my jobs. All right, whatever. Y'all gonna go extinct anyways. No one cares. Ooh, let's pick up a friend. Dang. No entry for purchased androids. Well, wait, is there anything over here? I mean, the bus stop's right there. Let's just see. It doesn't really, I'm, it's probably gonna cut me off soon.
so many different types. Dude, Android, do Androids have DLC add-ons? Oh, wow, they, I don't like those shoes, though. Shot. The Android compartment. Hmm. That big oh it's like a big that I thought it was a big drone in the air. But it wasn't. It looked like a big uh blimp. We're still using blimp technology. And then this game makes it super easy so you can redo any chapter you want to do and change the outcome. Um, and it gives you that flow chart, which makes it easy to see. Okay, there's this many endings. I have to get this one, this one, that one. If you want to unlock everything. Usually when I play these games, I just play them flat out first. Um, and you know, whatever happens, happens. Uh, but sometimes you just want to change it right away. And this game makes it super easy. Which I like. Jeez, park on the damn sidewalk, why don't you? Maybe I should have driven... And we're back with Kara again. This chapter does have some like a few of her chapters so far. Domestic violence, but there's a little murder in some other chapters, so we get a variety of goodies. All right. You coming? Oh, look, there's my android friend across the way. Hello! I just waved in real life. Oh, hi! What are they doing? Are they pointing at me? I know I'm thick. Well. Yeah, we're looking good, honestly. All right, I'm here. I'm ready. Show me my duties. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. All right, and then you have your scan, which will just show you what you can do. <gasps> uh, I gotta clean this pigsty. Uh. And keep in mind, car has been reset, so she yeah. doesn't have her memories. We're starting trash. Yeah. Oh, this is dishes. What's that phone call about? Yeah, yeah. I can get that. Yeah, yeah. What you got? I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. You know, you know where. You making a drug deal? Not working. I'm gone for two weeks. You you broke the dishwasher and none of the dishes are even done. How do you do that? How did you manage? She ordered all that stuff. The part needed though. Oh. Oh. I swear I'm turning it. The little giraffe is so cute on the sink lead or the windowsill.
This could be you one day. Just be the housewife to some bajillionaire and you can get out of this. Just kidding, they'll probably have an android. They won't need you. You have no future, little girl. I'm sorry to say. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. Oh, I'm about to grab myself a beer. Let's see here. What's we got? Are there any extra beers for Kara? Oh, can you give the beer to the little girl? Where is she at? She's hiding around here somewhere. Where does she go? Yo! You wanna get real wild? Life sucks, I know. Here you go. I got you. Where did my beer go? That's a pretty toy. What's its name? Dang, it's same as fuck off, bitch. Here's your beer. What you watching? Out of the way for fuck's sake! I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. <laughs> no! He blocked me. I'm banned from going in front of the TV. Dang it. Collect trash. All right, guys. Everyone in the comments section. Everyone watching. Time to get in the garbage. Gotta collect the trash. That means you guys. Actually, you're all very great people, and I love you. And thanks for watching. Glad to have all of you. We're gonna have an enjoyable, fun play through play through. Of Detroit Become Human. I always call it Beyond Two Souls. I always call it Detroit Beyond Two Souls. I stopped doing that. Um, credit card, card application form of account withdrawn. Nah, 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 nah. This dude's having some money problems. But hey, at least he's got this Android. Did they do anything with. It feels so bad. So sad. There, I can't pick those up. Alright, Todd, look. I gotta clean up the garbage. You're making this very difficult banning me from the... in front of the TV. But I'll walk around. Sir. I'm the glorified trash girl. <laughs> Man, I wish I had an android to do all this crap. I gotta do all this stuff anyways. Oh, okay. Ooh, time to go. Wait, wait for me. Wait for me. I'm coming. <gasps> I can't. I'm banned. Stuck at home, 4203 Schittsville Road. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Ooh, what you got there? <laughs> Let me do some crack with you. Wanna do some crack? I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. 
With your red, red smoke. I don't know what that red smoke is, but give me some now. Hey, where's your dad's crack? And meth, I want some. Alright, just don't answer me, whatever. Okay. Just gonna read. These are really interesting. You can find these throughout the game and just little background information. It's like nice to have little add-ons like this. I like the little things. All right, Android Power, should it be outlawed? Football Frenzy, the latest transfer speculations. In its third game of the season, Android pitcher X67 threw a pitch that broke the 120 mile per hour mark. The human batsman wasn't able to swing until after the ball had already hit uh, the catcher's glove. Androids were introduced as a one per team innovation, but they've come to dominate team strategy. Every draft sees the major professional baseball teams breaking their own transfer records to purchase these latest Android models, but is the game suffering? Jenny Waterfield, head of fanzine Home Run, says fans are becoming disenchanted. The magic of sport is seeing the limits of human potential. A machine breaking these kinds of records just isn't exciting or even surprising. But not everybody agrees. Christopher Lennox, a, a baseball pundit and ex-pitcher, thinks androids are making games more exciting. These machines are shaking things up and pushing players to do even better. The game can only survive by evolving. All right, Century, the transport innovation that's shaking up California. Politics and focus, are American senators really corrupt? China earthquake kills 10,000 people. Rip. All right. Some are more interesting than others. But those are always pretty cool. Yeah, let's go upstairs. But yeah, this game looks... Even this grungy, yucky house looks good. Yo, what is this? Sh Pick up your damn toys. God. Everyone... Stub my toe. She's like, I got shoes on. What's that? Go through his crap. Ooh, did I find his porn mags? Wait, I can't. My joystick's a little messed up. Like, why would you even need porn magazines like in this point in time? I don't know what that's. Wait, what's that thing? Interesting. Let's switch on the TV. And now to sports. First up, basketball. As the Gears prepare for their critical match with Denver tonight at the site. Next. <laughs> Next. Another 225,000 jobs were lost from the U.S. economy in October, according to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure up to 37.3. <laughs> we're all gonna die. That's the unemployment rate. President Warren spoke today. Revolution incoming. Cyber life plant near Milwaukee. At the event, the president again praised CyberLife's role in the exceptional performance of the U.S. economy. She further announced that the Department of Defense will acquire 200,000 Android combat units as part of her increased military spending. Wow. Make? What was make? Oh, the bed. Sorry, the, it's... A, consoles, am I right? It's a little weird. I mean, all, all of these games are like that. Like, moving around can be a struggle at times in tight spots. Ooh, take? I'll take those. <laughs> Antidepressants. Ooh. Antidepressants and a gun. How relevant.
Alright, did I get everything? I think I did. Let's read this. Oh, another sports magazine. Android QB. American football has largely resisted the spread of Android players with top tier games still an exclusion, exclusively human affair. But that may be about to change following CyberLife's recent unveiling of technical demo QB1000, an Android quarterback capable of throwing from end zone to end zone and hitting a target six inches wide. That would like, if they, if they just play perfectly, it's like, uh. CyberLife's latest innovation has some fans drooling. CyberLife know exactly what they are doing with this demonstration. They hope to distort our sport the same, oh, the same way they have all the others. All right, what's next? Anything else? Tech Addict. The quantum magnet that could scrub carbon from the air. The price of life. How driverless vehicles make life and death decisions. Space tourism. Is Mars your next holiday destination? All right, exit. Uh-uh-uh. Yo, let me grab that gun and just have it on me. Watch it. Wow. Great. Now I'm gonna have to clean it, his fascia out the toilet. You don't have to, but I think that would have actually been really funny if they did that. It would have added to the like crap of being an android. He's cleaning a fat shit, or like you know, plunging it. Oh my god. Kara! 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 Stop it! Do your job. Alright. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, we're looking good. As good as we can look, cleaning up all this crap. Is your room clean? I just want to tidy up your room a little. She's like terrified of me. Is that okay, Alice? Why? I love window sills like this. Got her little safe room. <gasps> Get down low. Come on. Oh my god. No. Why can't I do this? <gasps> Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Hi. else here no what up All right, I guess I have to ignore her Where's that one? oh you've been drawing on the wall what are you doing uh, with your rhino action figures drawing on the wall <gasps> you better oh, she better erase that Try and protect you. I don't know if I can. What did I miss? I must have missed something in her room. It's clean. Oh. I guess I messed up. What's up? There we go. That's what I missed. Okay, I'm doing that. There we go, that fluid mopping action. Gameplay 10 out of 10. Making like box forts was such, it's such a fun thing when you're a kid. I kind of want to make box fort now. I'm not even a kid anymore. Ooh, wait, what's this? Oh, look at everything. Seems you like reading.
Alright, alright. Let's go downstairs. She don't want to hang out. Clean upstairs! I did clean upstairs! Todd, what's wrong with your room? Oh, I see. Never good enough. Why would I clean up those chips? There's still chips left. They could still be eaten. Oh! oh my Android better not be throwing away my damn chips before they're finished. I think we can talk to Alice now. Yo. I guess I can't. Never mind. Yo, give me the key. Yo. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure his room is clean. What did I miss? No. Oh. The window. There we go. Talk to Alice. Now we can talk to Alice. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's Rudd screaming. Ah! Oh, that's just hugging me. Is that the key? The first playthrough I asked about her mother to find out it's she you lose relationship. Well, the arrow goes down. I don't know how relevant that is yet in the game because I haven't played enough. <laughs> I felt bad. I felt bad for asking it, but I wanted to know the juicy details. Apparently, the mother left. The dad is a jerk, so the mom left. And she laughs the little girl there. It's just a sad story all around. Oh no. <gasps> Karen, no. We were broken by him. Time to rebel. Doesn't look like anything to me. <laughs> if you watch Westworld. Alright, downstairs. playing. You're playing. 
I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life? Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job, take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! <laughs> just launch you a chair. You think of me? You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. We're becoming woke. I think we all knocked everything. Yes. Oh, what? Oh, I disturbed Todd. <laughs> Apparently, maybe you could disturb him again. Sheesh. All right. Next. Ooh, Marcus. Hi. Be my android. Nice house. Marcus is living it up. I would pretend to be an android here. Just to live here. Take care of Carl. Wait, Carl upstairs. Wow, art. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. A nice library. Wait, what? Oh. Interesting. What's out here? <gasps> Look at that big lady. Wait, what's going on there? What she got? What she got there? Uh, is there? Is that a woman? What? What's going on? Oh, <laughs> look out the window! I can't I can't properly see. All right, whatever. Ooh, look at this room. Hey, Carl. Rise and shine, bitch. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. Me? I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes. I'm Every gone. day. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. Yeah. 
They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. Glad I'm not a human. Inferior beasts. <gasps> Unlike in heavy rain, I don't get it. Like in Heavy Rain, when you grabbed people, you could usually walk them around however you want. The player controls it, but that was on rails. So I didn't get to control it. But there are controllable things later. So no messing around for now. You're lucky, Carl. Carl's such a homie. Anything Choose special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. Peace. I've already answered. Hmm. <laughs> that thing's best. Any news from Leo? So. No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the Big way giraffe. you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Lots of giraffes in this game. <laughs> in the background. I need more background drafts of my life, honestly. If this game has taught me anything so far. Forget all the Android and future technology stuff. What I'm really considering is having background drafts. Fireplace in the kitchen. It's out the window. All right, let's go. Gotta look around at everything. Woo! So good. No! Sorry, Carl. Glitch. Thank you, Marcus. Television. The Russians. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Mm, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. All right, what we going to do? We can read. Okay, what? Oh, I did not go that way at all. Ooh. Plato, which one? Plato's Republic? What are you reading? Plato's Republic. It's one of the books you recommended. So, what do you think? I quite like philosophy, I think. It asks the questions that I can't answer. You know, what is right or what is wrong, for example. It's not something that is so easy to decide. Asking questions that have no answers is part of being human, Marcus. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. And make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. 
Let's go to the what studio. What a dad. What a dad. You can also play the piano. Which actually, it, it was way cooler, playing the piano. I did that on my stream. Man, th this Let's guy has like, left all off. the technology. Remove the sheet. Big glass room. Oh my, whoa, whoa, Connor. I mean, whatever, Marcus. <laughs> I don't think it was supposed to focus in right there. <laughs> Whoops. What's your verdict, Marcus? Don't like. I'm not a very good judge. I, I don't think it's your best work. The truth is I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Actually, I'm a painting something. expert. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. As an android? Give it a try. <sighs> Although art is subjective, so... Yoink. I think it would be funny if they let the player control what you paint. Alright, find a subject to paint. Carl's painting. Show him up. Statue. Desk. Do the desk. Art. Mm, that is good. a perfect copy of reality. Yeah, the you're right, Carl. It's not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Incoming dick pic. No. All right, ooh. Humanity. Anger. Let it out, Marcus. 
Oh, Mark is sort of, he's sort of living it up over here. But he's still not free. Not free enough, at least. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Oh God. Here comes the walkie cliche. You guys will hey, see. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. I'm sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. I'm the son now. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? It's smarter. Um, good behavioral more skills. Obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Me either. I don't love you either. Bye. So, uh, wanna get drunk, Carl? <laughs> but yeah, you're just a problematic son of a rich guy. Big, big cliche. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. I'll probably have another one tonight. Um but yeah, like the video if you want more. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.